Hello, hello, guys. Uh, here we have a mail in repair. Anyway, I'm happy to be back. And I promise I will continue to do more and more videos, guys. Uh, what I have here, it's a parcel. So one of our clients who follow us on, on TikTok, they decided to send in their device. So anyway, I think I had to look for a razor on this one. Yeah, bo, I remember. Normally, I use a razor to unwrap all the parcels that we we receive. And I, I will lie to you guys. I don't really like the step of unwrapping, going through um, the, 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 the plastic bubble wraps, uh, all those things. I normally like to go straight into a device and then see what exactly um see exactly what i'm dealing with okay so here i have to take that call someone was calling me you know guys it's very very hard to uh, to do everything at once imagine you have to repair some uh, same time you have to to be on the call with the clients you have to respond to them all those things like it's very 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 hard to balance the two Okay, so the first thing first, as always, uh, you have to uh, go through the motherboard. You have to do a physical inspection. Just look around, see what exactly are you are you dealing with. What I normally like to do is I normally like to uh, remove the board, like meaning I like to remove the board from from the chases. Check out the motherboard, and then sometime that will help you to inspect the board as you can see i had the motherboard right there in front of me and i did take a sip of water and then to fix my camera as well and then take my multimeter as well okay so normally with an hp motherboard the dc in jack it's always on the chassis so it means whenever you remove the board we have to take out the dc in jack as well as you can see that motherboard doesn't have any uh dc in jack so right there i was just checking for a shot on what on the mosfet and guess what i did find a shot on, on on one of those mosfets but i had to I had to uh, guide you guys i had to show you everything so i had to go back and then uh remove the dc in check as i did mention earlier on that the hps the dc check is always on the chassis so in this case i had to connect the charger and there was nothing on and there was no leds on the charging port normally the hps they will give you an a, a led uh on the on the charging port but in this case in this machine there was no lights as you can see on the charging port there was nothing at all okay so i had to set my multimeter into 20 volts if i remember very well and I did check, and there was 19 volts. I know you can see, but the machine wasn't sending well, meaning the charging board did have the 20, the 20 volts. Okay, but on the other side of the board, it was getting 0 0.9. But guys, I'm gonna guide you and show you everything uh, step by step. So. I had to use my multi i mean my uh my camera here my microscope so i'll guide you guys uh step by step so that's next time when we have exactly the similar problem you will understand okay that's the the coil pl they stand for power inductors and then pq is power transistors okay as I was telling you guys, on one side, we do have the 19 volts, but on the other side, it's zero point something. And even after the the thing, the, the, the second MOSFET I was getting that 0 0.9 voltage. Okay, in a case where you have a short on the motherboard, let's say, let's say there's a short. 
the 19 volts is shorted on the motherboard you want to have one of the mosfets will have to protect the port meaning it will have to cut the power and stop supplying uh, the board with the power meaning you will have uh, 19 volts on the inputs but on the outputs you won't have anything between the two mosfets i don't really understand how this thing works which one which but it's always the second one i don't know why so in this case i had to check for a shot meaning by switching your multimeter into continuity mode and there was no shot on the board so if there's no shot on the board you have to check for the shot on one of those of those of those uh transistors so here i was checking for shots there was no shot, and i did check for the 19 volts there was the input but no output as you can as you can see right here i was on the voltage mode there was 19 volts on one side but on the other side it's 0 0.9 and i believe i did explain what would be the cause of this okay and i was telling you that if one of those two mosfets is shorted you won't have the output the first let's believe let's say that one tiny one there it's shorted if that the transistor 7506 is shorted the first mosfet won't allow power to pass because there's a problem on the second mosfet you see so what you do is you take your multimeter and then you switch it into continuity mode and guys i don't know why i talk too much i'm always talking on that left camera there i'm always saying something wara 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 talking one way okay there i was switching my multimeter into continuity mode yabo and have to switch back into my camera okay as i've said before if one of the mosfet is shorted i did check the first one meaning by putting input and output you check if there's any continuity but in this case there was no continuity uh, mosfets are not allowed to pass power one way unless if they are told to in this case there was there was no instruction but that one right there was shorted not allowing power to move from input into output one way non-stop of which is wrong so that's why i had to replace that guy right there I didn't waste any time i have to replace that mosfet right there guys All right, guys, so I had to take down that uh, second MOSFET, and there we go. Mm, I took it down I had to replace it with another one. Okay, so there I was just removing what the, 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 the donor one. So here I'm removing the original one. So I remove the one from the board and then replace it with the other one and i had a replacement 7506 okay so those four numbers 7506 you check the last number if the last number is an even number it means that this is a, a, a an n channel mosfet but if that number was an odd number that will mean that was gonna be the p channel mosfet never mind me uh, talking the one way I, I, I can't even remember who who i was uh, i was chatting with but i can see i was explaining something all right there all right sometimes guys you have to wait for the board to cool down you can't just connect the power until the board cools down so right there after some few minutes the board cooled down and it did give me what the charging light and i was very happy you can see me smiling right there and the board was working i did press the short the power there the power button there and i believe the fan oh yeah the fan spins and this means i was done 
all right i was putting back everything i normally like to show you guys everything i don't really like to show you the fan spinning i prefer to show you the display as well so that you can see that the machine uh, did put up and we did get a display okay so i have to connect the charger and then guys so that you can see the display there we go we have the back lights soon you will have the logo there we go the machine is booting up and i was standing jiving one way haha <laughs> anyway bye bye